We're about to show you five must eats in Cali, Colombia. In today's video, we're gonna start off with one aphrodisiac and end with another. But before we do, we wanna give you a gentle reminder to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're currently living in Colombia, but moving back to Mexico soon. We're arriving at our favorite place to eat in Cali, the Galeria Alameda, which is a farmer's market with restaurants. Most of the restaurants specializing in South Pacific seafood. The Galeria Alameda is pretty big, so when you enter, you gotta go past the fruits and veggies and go over to where the restaurant section is. Ah, importante. Este es el lulo. This is important. Remember this for later. What does it look like? Tomato, an orange. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Honestly, there's a lot to eat in the mercado, but today we're only visiting one restaurant. If you want to see the entire thing, let us know. Maybe we can make a separate video on that. Eating at Basilia is an absolute must. They have a location both inside the market, but also outside as an actual physical restaurant. I'll tell you why seafood is a must in just a moment, but first we gotta try this sancocho de pescado. The sancocho is the soup here in Colombia, which this one is specifically fish. There's also beef, hay de gallina, there's chicken. My favorite, of course, is the fish one. You got some papa here, some red plantain, and then pieces of fish sprinkled throughout. It's delicious. Oh, I hear that this is the best thing for the guayabos around here. Basilia is a favorite for most caleños, but one of the reasons it's one of our favorites aside from the seafood being amazing is because they have the best ají in Cali. Ají is what they call salsa picante, or what for us is just, you know, salsa. The one kind you eat, not the kind you dance. We ask them for triple the amount because we love it and it's actually spicy and delicious. And then some little limes for our soup. Aren't these the coolest looking limes you've ever seen? I've never seen limes that were orange on the inside. Yaki. Mm. While you're at the Mercado, you can't miss out on these delicious fruits in Colombia. One of them, my favorite, is guanabana, also known as soursop in English, but sounds way better in Spanish. Guanabana, un juguito de guanabana con leche. Mm. Gets your energy boost. Salud. One of my favorite dishes in Colombia is the cazuela de mariscos. Just look at this delicious bowl. It comes out steaming, ready for you to just... Mm. This food reminds me a lot of the food in New Orleans. It's very similar to me. Um, I'm wondering if there's a correlation between it, but it's that like sauciness, juiciness, a lot of garlic flavor. This has mussels, clams, uh, a little bit of a shrimp. Oh, delicious. I would take a bite right now, but it's too, too hot. So we're gonna wait a little bit. Another thing that we had the first time we came to Colombia three years ago was a coconut rice. And coconut rice paired up with the, the mariscos it goes really, really well. It makes it feel fresh, tropical. But they always identify us because we always ask for extra, extra ají everywhere we go. So they're like, oh, Mexican? Of course, Mexicans for life. Este cactus no se va a ninguna parte. Siempre va conmigo. My favorite item on the menu is the boca chico, which is a type of fish from the Pacific Ocean. Sudado, sweaty fish. I know, that sounds weird and unappetizing, but it's my favorite thing. The sauce, I'm sure, has coconut and other spices that I have no idea. I wish, we should get this recipe, I just realized. Anyway, paired with the coconut rice, just like the cazuela de mariscos that Kevin has, perfection. Add some more ají. I love this stuff. Un pedacito de pescado. Oof. Mm. The best, the best, the best. Mm. Just be careful with the bones. There's another fish we really like at another restaurant called Portal Marino, which is just outside of the market. And they have the best pescado in salsa de camarón best fish in shrimp sauce I've ever had. Oof. So why is seafood a must in Cali? Well, Cali is about a three hour drive from the port city of Buenaventura, which is highly regarded for its seafood. And it's this close proximity to the Pacific coast that allows Cali access to fresh seafood and Afro-Pacific flavors. So a diverse mix of cultures means a diverse range of flavors. Muchas gracias, chao, que
Eso sí. No, it was so nice to be able to say hi to Basilia. She's so approachable and nice. You can come take pictures with her. It's really nice for sure, yeah. right? She's appeared on the Food Network. She's won lots of awards. And so if you're in Cali, you cannot miss on, on her food. Absolutely. So now after all that food, how about some coffee to... When in Colombia. <laughs> we'll get some coffee real quick. And we don't have to go too far for this coffee because right around the corner here with visit inside the market is our favorite coffee spot called El Trinitario Café. <laughs> okay, honorary mention because this is seriously a favorite of ours in Cali. While you're at the Galeria Alameda, you can stop for a coffee or a coffee cocktail. These are favorite coffee cocktails in all of Colombia. We've got the Resandero, which is a cold brew with pulpa de café, so the fresh coffee fruit, lemon juice, and the Viche Curao. And to my understanding, the Viche is the coastal Pacific liquor. On my side here, we have the most delicious Irish coffee in the world. Yes. In the world. In the world. Well, we haven't been to Ireland. No, so. in the world. I don't think Ireland makes coffee this Tell good. me, come try this one and then tell me if you've had a better Irish coffee. I challenge you. There's whiskey everywhere in the world, but they don't have the Colombian it's beans that you find the here. The coffee that makes this. Mm -hmm. Hello. Cheers. By the way, might be a good chance to say that we love coffee. So if you'd like to support our content, you are absolutely welcome to buy us a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, Tip via PayPal, whatever it is your heart's desire if you enjoy our videos. Otherwise, a like, a comment, and a share will also do just fine. Hello. Mm -hmm. Try this. What? I know, it's citrusy, sweet, it has honey, lem lime juice, oh, and shoot. the coffee flavor. I got a complaint to Ingrid, she didn't show us this one before. Tenemos una queja. ¿Por qué no nos dijiste que esto existía? Está bien rico. We've been coming to Trinitario weekly for the last four months and only just now tried the Resandero cocktail. Imagine what else we've been missing out on. Trinitario Cafe also has a location in the San Antonio neighborhood, so if you find yourself there and want to try, you definitely can. But we prefer the location right here in the Galeria Alameda because surrounded by all the fruits and veggies, plants, feels like we're in a garden. Can't get any better than this. When in Cali, another must is champús. Not shampoo, champús. Llegó el vaso de champús bien frío. Llegó el vaso de mazamorra con leche y panela. El champús is a traditional drink in Cali and throughout El Valle del Cauca. It's a drink made from a special fruit that I've only ever seen here in Colombia. Lulo. It's bright orange in the outside and it looks like a tomato, but in the inside it's actually green. The same vendors who sell champús will also usually sell mazamorra, another traditional drink around here. Both served cold, perfect for the warm weather in Cali. Cheers. Salud. Whoa. This is like a cold arroz con leche. This one's corn based. And, and this one's Lulo based. <laughs> in addition to Lulo, the champú also has pineapple, orange leaves, corn or maize, herbs and spices. Perfect for the guayabo. Mm -hmm. mm, you know what this champús would go well with? Fritangas. Fritangas. <laughs> These are the Colombian fried street foods, also served at some restaurants. And honestly, we're not huge fans of fried food most of the time. We, we just don't like to feel heavy. You we know? try to limit it. But these are definitely worth trying and are must in Cali. So we have an alborrajado and a marranita, both balls of fried plantain. One is stuffed with cheese and the other one with chicharrón, chicharrón. pork rinds. Mm. Mm. This one's not my favorite. I like the alborrajado better. Trade. Trade. Want to give a quick shout out and thank you to our Patreon members. Thanks to you guys that we're able to continue making content. If you'd like to support us and get access to exclusive content, you can join our Patreon family at patreon.com slash travel. New York has cheesecake and Cali has cholados. Cholados are typically a street food and the best place to have them in Cali is at the Canchas Panamericanas. The entire west side of this huge sports complex is lined up with cholado stands. A cholado is a treat made with crushed ice, sweet syrups, often including a blackberry sauce, pieces of tropical fruits, 
condensed milk, and a wafer cookie. It's pretty much a Caleño tradition to have a cholado at Las Canchas Panamericanas, but our favorite cholado has been right outside the Swing Latino, the Dance Academy, where this street vendor by the name of Pirulo serves up some delicious cholado. We like it a lot because he puts a lot of fruit and cheese, which they normally don't put at Las Canchas Panamericanas. But hey, if you see Pirulo out in the streets, make sure to get a cholado from him. We promise you won't regret it. I've always thought Colombian food was very boring, kind of simple, but it's because the, the restaurants I will go to in Chicago always offer the same things like empanadas, bandeja, paisa, you know, food from the central part of Colombia. The paisa region. And don't get me wrong, bandeja paisa is not bad, but honestly, I just didn't find it that impressive. Right, and I thought Colombian food was pretty boring. That is until we actually traveled to Colombia, which is why travel is so important, by the way. And we realized, holy crap, there's so much more to Colombian food than bandeja paisa. Duh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to present Cali's official fruit, their pride and joy that grows on trees. And it's not just because it's an aphrodisiac, though many people swear by it. And it is said that indigenous populations have used this to help them conceive and reproduce for many, many years. But it is Cali's gastronomic icon and a must try when in town. The Chontaduro. It grows on the peach palm, La Palma de Chonta, in the warm and tropical climates of southern Colombia, and it's a rock-hard fruit that needs to be boiled to soften it up before it's eaten. You'll find Chotaduro vendors all over the city. One place where you don't have to try too hard is just walking outside La Alameda, and you'll see street vendors everywhere. My first experience with Chontaduro was really funny. I went to the barber shop, and there was a vendor coming in front of the barber shop. My barber asked me if I wanted Chontaduro, and I said I had never tried it because they don't sell it in Mexico. And dude, like, stopped cutting my hair, ran outside, and got me a bag full of chontaduro. <laughs> and ever since, fallen in love. Me vendes una bolsita con sal y miel. So the combination of the chontaduro is kind of strange, right? Because you put salt and honey on fruit, and the fruit doesn't look, I don't know, like your average fruit. It actually looks like a sweet potato. Has a sweet potato consistency, which just makes it special. This is a time between like a sweet potato and an apple. And walking around Cali, this is the iconic image you'll see of Chantaduro everywhere. A little seed and the fruit. The meat is there we go. This is a fruit that some people love, some people hate. There's no in between when it comes to this. Before Cali, I don't think I had ever even heard of this fruit. How about you guys? Ever try it? Ever heard of it? But the big question is, is it really an aphrodisiac? Well, we're about to answer that question at another restaurant, which is full of chonta flavors. So we happen to find this place where they sell chontaduro, everything from limonada, empanadas, arepas, chontaduro, beer. You're, you're getting the point. Let's show you how delicious this place is. The Chontaduro is a superfood, a powerhouse of nutrition, including vitamin C, vitamin A, beta carotene, which means it's super good for your skin and immune system, omega 3s and 6s for healthy hormonal balance, especially the growth hormones. Good. This is the Chonta Lemonade or la Limonada de Chontaduro, and it's mm, perfection. They even have ají de Chontaduro with spiciness, a spicy salsa de Chontaduro. Do like spring rolls or egg rolls with chantaduro in them. And my favorite one. What is it? It's an arepa with queso crema and queso cuajada with some ají. Boom. So many people insist that it is in fact an aphrodisiac, but is it really? What the science says that it helps to stimulate blood circulation all throughout your body even the parts that need it the most. So, is that an aphrodisiac? I don't know, you tell me. Well, after all that chontaduro, how about we go burn this off? We got dance class, what did you think we were gonna do? <laughs>